<sighs> Shoot me. She started shooting. Oh, why? So, after, like, this game, and, you know, like, I really want to see what you guys looked like in that first game. Uh, was it anything? You know, like anything that didn't look like the same? <laughs> what you heard about? Yeah. You know what? We just, you know, I don't know, uh, didn't have a good rhythm. There wasn't a great energy. Uh, you know, we started off the game well. We had spurts. It just wasn't consistent. A little bit like last year, we would get 16-point leads, 12-point leads, make a bad play, make a bad turnover, do this, and then another team makes a run. And we've got to be better at that. You know, we got to learn to, when you get a lead, to be able to, you know, put teams away. Uh, i got to give them a lot of credit. Uh, Grant Lee does a great job. You know, they execute really well. They've got... Uh, you know, really good, sound, fundamental players. It was a good, you know, they reminded me of like a Utah. They move the ball, they've got shooters, they're good in the high post. Um, they did a really good job executing against our zone. Uh, but I think, you know, we, we looked just, it's, we, it was spurty tonight. Uh, it looked like the flow was a little off. Is it as simple as uh, saying that in these, in these two games that you guys played to the level of your competition? I don't like to say that. Uh, uh, I just think that you know, two teams played two different types of tempos. Uh, you know, Nevada was in your face, uh, uh, trying to deny and pressure, and uh, they played a little. You know, SPU played more pack line. They stayed back. They tried to take a lot of time off the clock. Uh, um, but you know, those are the. That's what you got to be able to adapt and adjust. Uh, tonight we got some young guys in. Uh, tried to give them some minutes in front of the lights and. Uh, you know, once we kind of subbed and kind of went out a little bit, uh, it just it looked like we just lost juice. It was like all of a sudden, you know, if you ever had an iPhone and all of a sudden when they had those battery problems, you're like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> it said I had 80%, now I've got 20. Uh, and so, uh, you know, had to get them, you know, back going. But, I, you know, listen, that's why you play these exhibition games. They're great. Uh, you know, they're great games to learn about your team. Uh, like I said, even you know, after the Nevada game, to the guys, is we got a long way to go. Uh, you know, we got to learn how to be really consistently good, and uh, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, you just got to. If we would have won by 50 tonight, or you win by two, or you lose, you know, we go back, we watch tape, we try to get better, we move forward, and uh, try to get better. Coach. You know what, I, I thought early, you know, uh, going into the game is something that I wanted to do. You know, just try to get more possessions. Now you can get more players on the court, you know. And so, uh, you know, it's different when, you know, dead balls and stuff like that than when, you, when you're not working on, you know, when, you, when, you, when what you do is press after made baskets and stuff like that, it's a different mentality. Um, but we just wanted, we wanted possessions. We wanted to speed it up. We didn't want to be in the half-court game. And, you know, the guys did a decent job of doing that. And uh, it's something that we've worked, you know, St. Mary's game, right? We were down 16, we pressed, we got it all the way back to a one possession game. You know, it's something that's in our arsenal. So I uh, just wanted to see what it looked like with different guys in the court. And when you're doing that, you have Sam back there as opposed to Brian. Yeah. Two guys back there. Well, what I like to do is if you notice, like I'll call, I'll, I'll have a sub on a foul shot and just try to stop the clock, set up the defense and try to get guys back there. So. Having Brian uh, getting Sammy back there, uh, where we can get him to make, take a sped, sped up shot or get a block shot or make them play faster than they want to play, you know, it's a tempo thing. Uh, but uh, you know, it wasn't wasn't the way that we wanted to play, but there was a lot of great lessons to be learned for today. You talked about wanting to improve assists on the game, and that was six tonight. Uh, don't even tell me that number. I already uh, know that number. What can you say about the ball movement tonight? What was going on? You know, listen. At the end of the day, uh, uh, every day in practice, we've 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 been. I think there's been three days of practice for you know three to four weeks, where we've been plus. It's one of the stats that we take every day. And uh, you know, today uh, the extra pass wasn't there. Uh, we missed a lot of guys. We missed a lot of layups. We missed foul shots. You know, thank you know, thank God it happened in a in a, in a preseason exhibition game. Uh, you learn a lot about your your team, and. Uh, but six six assists and eighteen. What do we have? Six assists, nineteen. Yeah, that's not a winning formula, and uh, I think the guys understood. I mean, it's not one of those things. I mean, it's not rocket science. We missed a lot of guys. We had the lead. Missed a dunk. Missed a layup. Turned it over. Uh, that can't happen. Um, and you just saw what happened tonight. I mean, they stayed in the game. 
they took the lead, and you know we've just got to get better. The both Matisse and Jalen talked about a lack of energy yeah. from the start, even when you guys were up eleven nothing. I, I thought that the beginning of the game was as good as we've started off a game. I thought our defense was sharp. I thought it was. Uh, they were flying around. I felt like when we got into transition, we found the open man. You know, we didn't try to hit the home run. We hit singles. And when you get in rhythm shots, and you got good spacing. That's what happens. Uh, and we've been really good at, at that. Uh, tonight, we, you know, if there was 10 possessions of those types of situations, we turned it over three, four, five times where you should be getting twos or threes, and they're scoring. And uh, those are. Those are not winning plays, but uh, you know I think in, in, in one case they were trying to make the extra pass. It just wasn't the right decision. Were, were you in basically trying to limit Noah, or was that just kind of? I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, it was you know I I, I, I thought tonight would be a game uh, to get some guys on the floor. I uh, wanted to get Noah some run. You know, he's he's been really good in practice, but he's still not a hundred percent. But he uh, obviously we need him. Uh, we need 100% uh, Noah, and uh, um, you know he hadn't practiced with us probably. Well, he's practiced with us uh, probably the last four or five days. I think it was two days up to the, the Nevada game, so like a week, whatever it is, eight. Seven. You know, still it's it's arithmetic. It's it's different than practice when you get in a game. And today it just didn't look flowy. It didn't look. We didn't have a good flow. You know, sometimes that happens, and that could be. Uh, that could be SPU too with their pace and what they did. I thought you got to give them, you got to give them a lot of credit. Well, what we want to do is sometimes you can get three point shot happy, and we've got some pretty good penetrators, and you want to be on the attack. Now you want to take good threes, but you want to be able to get to the basket, and we did a better job. It was one of the focuses. Um, but we still we got to finish better. We got to make the extra pass better. Uh, I thought from the foul line. Um, you know, we, we're, we've got good shooters, and so I, I felt like we missed some one-on-ones early, one-on-ones, and um, you know, back to the drawing board, back in the lab. It's gonna be tough, I guess. When you're trying to create energy to kind of find the line between, like, I guess, bringing the intensity and pressing. You know, uh, pressing is uh, is really good. You know, we need Pre a pr pressing, as in like trying to. Yeah, I, yeah, you're trying. You know, as a, as a coach, if you don't have energy, you're trying to push the buttons to get the energy. Sometimes it's a it's a rant in a timeout. Sometimes it's subbing. Uh, sometimes it's pressing. Uh, um, but yeah, just trying to get the energy buttons going. And uh, you know, sometimes you listen. Uh, you know, sometimes it's easier to play on the road than it is at home. You know, you get home in front of your family and friends. There's you press a little bit. Uh, you know, so. Um, no excuses. I, we we didn't play well. <laughs> the bottom line, six assists and 18 turnovers isn't uh, isn't where we need to be to be the team that we can be. The good news is is we've we've proven that we can play against the best when we execute, and we've proven that we can lose. I mean, it's the same story. We just got to be more consistent. I think the guys recognize that. They recognize that no one's good enough to win by themselves, and uh, we need everybody. Uh, you know, Noah didn't play at Nevada. Hamir came in. I didn't play Hamir tonight. Um, but, um, you know, we'll be fine. It was a great learning experience for us. SPU did a great job. Uh, back to the lab, as they say, and uh, get these guys fired up. Was there a combo on the floor that you liked tonight? There was a lot I didn't like. I won't share that with you. Um, but, you know, listen, it, it, you know, this is a, it's a long process, and uh, we got some young guys in there that are really, really talented. we got to get them up to speed. Um, last year uh, in this time, uh, I don't know where I, I was. I was in a spin <laughs> after the 18 threes that St. Martin's hit against us. Uh, but you know, it's all about getting better, and uh, you know, we'll get better from this. It will be a great. You know, we need to get better from it. I mean, we've got these couple games coming up that are pretty, pretty significant. And, uh, I know the guys are excited to play them, and we've got to play better if we want to win them. Anything else, guys? I'm here to play. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. All right. Thank you, Coach.